Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are continuing on with our Lady Jurong campaign. And uh, where is she? Peekaboo! Ah, oh, she's hiding behind the mountains. Uh, so yes, uh, brilliant, more thing. Um, also, we're still in early access and uh, still uh, uh, on the like three week old build. So it's the five week from release build, which is um, well a long, a long way to go before release for this build. And uh, I'm amazed how well it runs, except for the weird thing where it seems to really hate my recording software on the campaign map at the moment, which is super weird. But anyway, apart from that, uh, things are going great. Uh, also, uh, yeah, um, well, I say things are going great. I'm not entirely sure where we are. Um, I'm not sure what day this is going out. If this is in the... F it'll, it'll have to be during the second embargo, I think. Which is coming up in a few days. But currently, as, as I'm recording this, episode one has been stuck processing for an entire day. On YouTube, so I, I could have I could have had it posted by now. Um, I could have done the premiere already, but yeah, YouTube's just holding it hostage while it processes it seemingly indefinitely. So that's fun. So that's fun. I have to re-upload it and see if that helps. Um, so yeah, great. It being a YouTuber can be frustrating. Anyway, uh, it's fun though. It's fun and it's it's nice showing you guys these games. So uh, anyway, um, hopefully it was all worth it in the end. So. Right, yes, Lady Jurong. Um, I think we have to wait a turn, but Fulin, we should be able to launch invasion of. Um, Duosi just conquered another territory and just confederated with another um, tribe. So he might be a little bit stronger than he was, but it'll probably still only be the one army. Um, hopefully, though, we can have Meng Huo. Let's actually have a quick look here. Uh, okay, he hasn't got any ambushes yet. So we'll see if we can get him some ambushes as well as we approach. You never know. We might manage it. Uh, and in fact, we haven't got any here yet either, have we? No. I've just not... I've not been able to get a single ambush. It's ridiculous. I had so many ambushes in my test campaign. It's very upsetting. Uh, I like a good ambush. I do like an ambush. So anyway, uh, Lady Jurong is going to head south. Uh, Meng Huo is going to head north. And let's cool the whole thing off. No, um, let's do some stuff. Ah, yes. So here... Um, Formations, all of these formations unlocked, is kind of crazy. And we get access to Han units as well. Don't care though, because this one, uh, we get extra 20% battle running speed and extra 20% charge bonus for all units. And it enables scare when we're attacking on the campaign map. So anytime we attack anyone, our whole army is going to have scare. And uh, we've got better charge mode, better. We can just run in and murder people straight away. Like, formations... They tend to be great for um, sort of like uh, prolonged engagements, you know, where you're trying to be very strategic and hold areas in place for these, you know, uh, turtle formations absorbing the enemy arrow fire and slowly inching forwards and being all careful. Uh, nah, that's not how we do. No, it is not. We're going to start smashing stuff. It's going to be great. So, uh, I also love that when you click go on the reform, it's not actually go, whatever it is, like research... Research. When you click research or go, in my mind, when when you click go, uh, an elephant does a little a little trumpet, which is quite cute. It's like we've tasked the elephant to research for us. We have a very clever elephant in the ranks. So let's move on. Oh, Dorothy's coming to us. Okay, this might work. Uh, he has a billion hidden vipers. What are you? I mean, ranged units, obviously. Are they any good in melee? I mean, they don't look terrible. So, yeah, roll all-rounder. Hmm, missile defense, poison weapons. Is that the poison that does damage over time, I wonder? Is it that one? Uh, oh! Minus 100 fire resistance. Huh. Interesting. Damage taken by flaming attacks is altered by this amount. Wait, so it's altered by minus 100%. Does that mean that it's... Does that mean they are completely resistant to fire? Or does that mean that they are doubly... That is poorly worded. For it's a minus 100%. It's altered by this amount, so... it. Okay, that seems weird to me. Are they weak to fire or not? That's a very bad way to describe that. Because that could easily be taken either way. Alright, great, cool. Thanks. Thanks, game, for being super helpful. Anyway, 100% uh, chance to, to ambush here. And that's what we're going to do. So hopefully, that'll work. 
Hopefully that'll work. Might be a bit annoying. Might have to chase them around a bit, but... I mean, we've got some pretty good warriors here. I think we can uh, we can get on top of them pretty easily. And the Nanjong Elephant should do quite well, provided they don't get shot to pieces by all these Vipers. So, there's problems, but I think we can have them. I think we can have them. Uh, I do kind of want to sneak in behind now, but no, we need to we need to get down here and deal with uh, Mulu, even though he's not doing anything yet. I mean, we wonder what he's doing. What is he playing at? Also, God, it takes a long time to get over here, huh? Like, a long time... All right, well, I guess in, you know, ten more turns we can attack the other enemy. What a bother. Um, thing is, I would just disband her army. I would just disband this and then, you know, recall the retinues and put them here. But it costs so much to redeploy and I don't think we can really afford that. Um, it's going to be a sort of hit and miss. I know we'll get more, obviously our upkeep will go down so much that our income will go up a whole bunch. But I still have no idea if that will cover the costs. It might take just as many turns. So I think I'll just have them run, frankly. We don't have the money to pay for the redeployment. Uh, so anyway. People of merit, huh? Well, I don't really care, because I have a billion people of merit already in my faction. So, okay. We're just going to have to enter and ambush these guys and hope that that works, because I'm a little bit... Ugh. This is a little iffy. We will have some reinforcements, though. If things do get dragged out a bit. Shamaka has declared war on us now. Okay, so the whole north is livid. But hopefully we should be able to deal with Mulu quite quickly once we're down there. So this ambush has succeeded. Which is going to be a close defeat, apparently. But, on the other hand, what if it wasn't? What if it wasn't a close defeat? Uh, this is going to be tricky, I think. But we've come this far. Okay, so, they need to escape to here, which I'm not going to let them. Uh, so we're going to try and just smash one side of this um, in a big way and then push forwards. Because hopefully, if we do it this way, uh, we should be able to kill a whole bunch of, um, of these boys nice and quickly. So, Utugu and... Uh, uh, Meng Huo can go straight for Duo Si. And yeah, all these guys can run in the other way. Alright, go get them. Go get them, lads. Go get them. And yeah, we're just going to have to ignore them. Keep charging in. And yep, they're going to get completely baffled. Hopefully. Uh, come on. Okay, good. Okay. You guys, line up over here. Okay, keep charging. I don't like all these poison boys. It's just... Don't... Don't like poison boys. Does the enemy line wait for us? Really? If you say so. Okay. All going well. Uh, guys, okay, let's go for them. That works. Uh, don't like the damage our elephants are taking. No, it's not too, too much. It's not too much. Let's put up uh, melee evasion, I think. How are they doing? Three on... Yeah, okay, they're getting a lot of kills. Stop getting stuck. Kill Dwosi, please. Okay, slow his morale. And... Okay, we can't hit him with splash damage because he's too busy running around in circles. And... Are we losing some people over here? Sort of are, yes. Uh... Okay, right, come on, elephants. You guys need to get literally all the kills because this is really problematic. Okay. Yeah, that's all of our enemies. Ugh. Come on, elephants. Come on. You can do this. 600 kills. Keep going. Ah, good. You guys did great. Okay, excellent. How are you guys doing? Keep looping around. Keep terrifying them. Keep stomping. Come on, stomper. Stomper. Go, 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 go. Okay, good. That looks like it stings. Uh, it's our elephants, isn't it? Oh, no. No, they're doing great. 600 kills. Lovely. They're doing well. Although, they do seem a little stuck. Come on. You're going to try and reset. I feel like they're a little bit unwieldy sometimes. Kill them. 
Yeah, better have. 700 kills. All right, pretty good. Now they're getting some momentum again. Okay, perfect. All right, guys, next one. Next general. Uh, one of them's gone mad over there. bosi has got all of his health back. I love when that happens. <laughs> love when that happens. I thought we'd killed him, but apparently not. Apparently we hadn't killed him. Alright, over a thousand kills. There we go, a thousand kills for our elephants, guys. A thousand kills. We did lose a few, though, as you can see. We did lose a few. Uh, things are looking a bit rubbish for these uh, for our guys over here. Hidden Vipers are doing very well. Yeah, those Hidden Vipers are no joke, it seems. Okay, let's turn about. Attack somebody else, please. Alright, come on, guys. You can kill her. You can kill her. Alright, you can run back this way. So, even though we've got a thousand kills with just the elephants, this isn't over yet. Mad, right? Absolutely mad. Uh, oh my god, just just kill her. Come on. Come on, guys. Oh, Grossi's back. Rubbish. Alright, how you doing now? 1070? Alright. The Nanjiang champions should be able to handle this themselves. Supposedly. Alright, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, that's good news. You guys keep running. They're running now. Uh, they're running. Come on. Get those hidden vipers. And how are you still alive? Madness. Alright, low morale. Let's try and get her with the... With this uh, off-guard melee attack. Now they're not moving anymore. Got her. Got her. Alright, go for them next. Here's our elephants. Looking terrifying. Absolutely fierce. Looks like they're going to break in a minute. You guys keep going for them. You guys run over here. Spearman totally healthy still, which is lovely. That's really nice. I am a big fan of that. And, oh, he's hiding. He's hiding by the looks of it. Where are you? Where's Dwosi gone? Wow, sneaky little devil, huh? Sneaky little devil. One step close to victory. Uh, they've shattered, so we can bring all these guys over here now. Excellent. Job well done. So, Nanman Slingers over there. That's Nanman Spearman. I think we've done a lot of damage to all the hidden vipers, and they're the ones that seem to hit the hardest. But, uh, yeah, Nanjong Elephants. 1,100 kills. Well played, Nanjong Elephants. Well played. Close victory. Oh, great view. <laughs> Great view of the action. Such exciting. Much wow. Okay, good. We got some cash. Uh, we can't employ her, sadly. Can't employ her, even though I would like that uh, those bonuses. Uh, let's release them. And... Ooh, yeah, replenishment, please. Good. Good. That's That went great. That was fantastic. We've we've already turned the tide of this this war. So Shemaka declared one lady to wrong, and now this is the worrying thing. We could push our advantage against Dwosi, but then is Shemaka gonna just come out of from you know from Uling here and attack us? Because that is absolutely possible. Um, are they still at war with the Han Empire? Who are you still at war with? Like everybody. I'm amazed they declared war on us. That seems very surprising to me. Character left. Uh, all right. Fine, I guess. We have low satisfaction, don't we? Yes, we do. Wow, there's a bunch of people who are absolutely livid. We didn't clear things out after we confederated, did we? Is that what happened? I'm sure we did. Okay, well, whatever the case. You get out of here. You're livid, so you can get out of here. Uh, you're livid. Uh, <laughs> Malruining. Get out of here. You get out of here. Uh, Tuan is also livid, so he can get out of here. Uh, Yushi is spousal with Tugu, livid, so we're going to have to keep him because I don't want to upset with Tugu. Uh, Tuchi can go. You can go. Let's confederate with all the tribes. Everyone get out of my office. That's basically what we're doing. It's very silly. Um, yep, you go as well. 
uh, Mong Yo can also go, and uh, Nyo Ba Urula could go as well. And yeah, just this one we got to keep who's livid, but I mean, everyone else seems mostly all right. Yeah, I mean, that got rid of the low leadership things, that's fine. The low satisfaction debuffs, although we are getting minus four satisfaction right now. Thanks to um, us not doing the Goddess of Fire thing. So I think we need to do this now. Um, so lower melee evasion. Uh, oh, wow. Very quick mustering in the spring. We get Stalk, which is fun. That's fun. And wow, big old melee attack rate bonus. So, yeah. Why the heck not? So that'll do. That'll do. We got to. We got to, guys. Uh, so let's chase down Dwosi. Because we have a much, much bigger army than him now. Yeah, decisive victory, which is... Pretty great, honestly. That is pretty wonderful. Uh, do I want to fight it? Uh, I think I'll auto-resolve. If we lose any units, though, I'm going to be very upset. Celebrate. No, we're good. Our we're good. Was just. And some a more replenishment. Good. Excellent. Uh, and now you, me lad. Uh, great authority, but you need to hit harder. So let's get you some more instinct. I know, that's all I ever go for. Just smashy, smashy. I love it. A uh, lot of cunning bonus there. Do you need more cunning? I mean, really? Probably not. Uh, quite tempted to give him the bow for now. I am quite tempted. Hmm. I mean, it still gives him cunning. Except that also gives him a lot of satisfaction. And this doesn't. So yeah, I'll leave that. I want him to be happy. And you? I mean, uh, you know. Not great satisfaction, but not terrible. Not terrible. Uh, general discontent and personal traits. His personal traits make him unhappy. And we don't have any better weapons either. I would like some better weapons. So I give him instinct and satisfaction. Uh, or... Yeah, yeah, just leave it with that, I think. It, small bonus doesn't really make much of a difference. So that'll do. Uh, but I will give him... Oh, he's been leveling up his authority. That's not that important anymore. Now that he's not a faction leader. So let's put up his instinct. I want him to hit hard. That's really all I'm going for at the moment. And for you, let's get conscription. So that way we will have a garrison there. Um, a much better garrison. We had zero garrison a turn ago. Now we're going to have, like, what, eight? Yeah, we're going to have eight units in here. Instead of zero, which is much, much better. Uh, because eight is a bigger number. Eight is a bigger number. So, um, yep. I know. Again, just comment, like, subscribe for more more of that. Uh, those kind of insights. Um, you really are most welcome. You can only hear it here. So, uh, right. I think that's... Um, I guess that's it for the turn. We started to make a ton of money all of a sudden. I'm not sure how we're making that much money. Oh, my word. I just realised. It was literally because I was paying all of these people to exist, wasn't it? Flip it, heck. Wow. Okay. Yep, salaries. I. It had never dawned on me that the salaries also include the salaries of the people sat doing literally nothing. Yet, every time I get an event going, you hire a new person, I always think, ugh, oh, really? Really have to pay for them? But yeah, it didn't dawn on me during this campaign that all the ridiculous amount of characters we were getting were doing that. I'm sure you guys have been screaming at the screen for me to sack all those people. But, um... Oh well. Oh well. You live and learn. Um, yeah, bizarre. Bizarre that didn't even dawn on me. Anyway, let's crack on. And here's Mulu. Yep, yep. He's going to take it. He's going to take it. We're going to have to take it back. It's fine. That'll just give him a bit of a confidence boost. And uh, then he's got two units of elephants. He has war elephants and southern elephants. Ooh. Eee. Ah. Ooh. Yeah, he's going to be no pushover, huh? He's not going to be a pushover. This is going to be very exciting. So, Dong Min signed a peace with Tao Tao. Doesn't bother me. Also, if you notice, all the flags have changed. Isn't that fun? Kong Rong and Dong Min uh, are now in a coalition. Which is bizarre. Trying to keep the old ways going. People of merit. You had it. That's how that's said. Uh, right, Jinin. Let's see, what is that? Uh, oh no, it's my spice. It's my spice. Mine. You mind spice, I'm sure. Um, eh, it might be nice to upgrade this. 
Extra income from commerce. We are getting some income from commerce in this area. Uh, do I want to spend that much money though? Or do I want to get this lad another um, lad? He's currently an administrator, so hiring him might be a problem. Oh, also he doesn't like Utuku. Fair enough. I guess I won't bother. Um, wow, no one here likes both Utugu and uh, Meng Huo. So that's novel. And you just don't like Utugu. Aren't you? Wait, hang on. Aren't you his wife? So we're having to keep... We're having to keep this person around. <laughs> we're having to keep this person around so Utugu doesn't hate that we, like, banished his wife. And yet, they don't get on. That's really funny. That really just... <laughs> that tickles me to no end. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know who to hire. I guess he doesn't care one way or the other. So just fixing that lack of purpose for him is, is not a terrible idea. And hopefully he'll uh, he'll end up liking them. Let's just hope for the best there. Uh, good. Also, I mean, we've got so many other units we can get that are really interesting. Um, I mean, axe throwers would be really cool. More followers of the flame, because they are part of the faction now. Uh, though I guess just keeping it like this is fine for now. We really don't need them. Um, we don't need anything fancy. Because this is a big enough army to take over these settlements easily. So it's only if um, Shamaka turns up we'll need more units, um, or better units potentially. Though he doesn't have much territory himself, so I don't know how elite his forces are going to be, but I kind of doubt he'll have a bunch of elephants. So that is really the main thing. Does the faction have a bunch of elephants? If the answer is yes, then be a bit worried. Otherwise, eh, it's fine. Uh, so, can't demand surrender, because there's no um, character in charge of the place. But I think just for a decisive victory, I could auto-resolve. But sadly, these guys are probably going to break and need two turns to come back. Ugh, doesn't matter. I'm not going to waste my time fighting we such a meager thing. Now. And we didn't lose anyone. That's good. So, let's occupy it. So, winning this war. Already winning this war. So, more food and money. I like food and money. Food and money is useful. Um, I can use the money to buy food. And uh, then I can just display uh, the food that I had to begin with. Um, you know, just put it on display. Because food looks nice and it's tasty. Uh, butcher. Butcher, butcher, butcher. Good. That's perfect. I need you to be a butcher. Alright, let's... Uh, oh, God, I don't know. Uh, I just keep running directly at him, I suppose. I think with an army like this... I'm really going to want to get the ambush so I can I can jump on top of those elephants nice and quickly and get them to break, like, immediately. That's what I really want to do. I want to get that ambush going very fast with him. So we will be... God, it's a bit of an awkward area as well with, like, the lack of forests here. Although I could probably, probably duck in to one side over there or just go here, but he might just go north to Jianin, in which case I'm sort of screwed there. Um, well, next turn he's definitely going to attack that. Then we'll have to sit there in ambush and hopefully he'll run into it. That's that's what we'll try. We'll we'll try that. And that's what we're going to attempt. Okay, moving on. Yep, he's going to attack. Because of course he is. Of course he is. Um, also, we can't tell towers to attack what we want them to attack anymore, so I can't even single out the elephants. So I think we'll just uh, we'll just let him have it. It's a lot quicker. There you go. That's a shame, that. It's a genuine shame. That was a nice settlement. I liked that settlement. It was getting us all those lovely spices. So, Tao Tao instigated uh, Kong Zhuo into a proxy war. Classic Tao Tao. Uh, yep, Mulu has seized one of our settlements. I was there. I remember that. Uh, now, rituals of the ancestors. The shamans speak to you of your rituals, powers that may yield to you the strength of the very ancestors, summoned through incantation and sacrifice. They asked you to make a choice. What manner of power do you wish them to bestow upon you? Beloved Lord, extra public order, or good omen, extra morale? I don't know, public order. I want to be beloved. I want to be a beloved queen. There we go. Good. Good, I'm glad your will has been forged in you. Uh, you, my friend, have a level up. Uh, yep, yeah, more instinct. Your instinct's too low. It's, it's upsetting me. Uh, more expertise. Can I do that? Oh, for administered commandery. In that case, 
Where is my administrator? He's the cave lord. Hello, cave lord. Um, any of these gonna make you know, I can make things cheaper? Um, yeah, is he just gonna be looking over these places for a long time? I wonder. I right, put construction costs down. Let's go. Let's go sentinel. And I'm gonna give him this to add additional income. I only put our income up by about fifty, but. Better than nothing. You know, that'll add up eventually, right? You know, let's get, once we get all these nice and upgraded and stuff. Uh, anyway, they've taken this. So now... Oh, can we actually reach that? Wow, we can actually just reach the town immediately. Do we want to just reach the town immediately? Because if we're attacking him, uh, the elephant's probably just going to stand, like, just inside the gates and let me shoot them with fire arrows for a week. Uh, which would be kind of nice of them. So I could do that. Feels a bit exploitative and not as exciting as trying to get an ambush going though, huh? So let's try and get an ambush going. Because I really want to get an ambush. Because I, I really want to get night battles. Night battles are awesome. And that's a good opportunity. It would also be... Ugh, I don't know if it would be easier. I think it would probably be easier to take the city just because, you know, settlement battles are quite easy. Um, the AI sort of sits there and lets you fight them. Or, in the case of that other siege battle we had where they sallied forth to attack us, uh, we were able to exploit that quite well because they didn't sally forth in a very clever way. So let's get a fighters club up here in case uh, these silly Han declare war on us, which is totally possible. And for you... Uh, oh, wow, you can actually reach Fulin already. I think that might be the end of Dwosi. Yeah, that's... Yeah, there's uh, Yang Ji trying to, trying to hold that. Uh, Dwosi might have another settlement down here, though. They might have another one down here, I think. I think there's another settlement along this coast that he may have. We'll see. We'll see. Demand surrender. No, I didn't want to. Fair enough. I wouldn't want to either. Who are you? Uh, Sanjiang Poison Spears. Oh, that's cool. Roll anti-cavalry. Well, yeah, you'd assume so. And uh, Poison Weapons. I can imagine these would do quite well against um, uh, fatigue with Elephants. Although their defensive stats don't exist. So yeah, they, they would just die too quickly. Never mind. Yeah, maybe just stick with ranged. Um, but still, let's uh, let's get killing. All right. Wow, this is cool. So Nanman settlement just out in the plains. It's just a big mountain that they've covered in houses. Uh, that's rather beautiful. Very spread out, and like there's some farmland, but not much. Seems unusual, but sure. Um, still beautiful. Okay, so. What is the plan? Uh, probably just charge in, like, lunatics. Maybe. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe not. Here we don't have fire arrows, is the annoying thing. You know? Uh, let's put the elephants to back. God, there's so many elephants on extreme unit sizes. It's just, there's so many. And imagine that hurtling towards you. This is no fun. No fun. For the people doing the, you know doing the being crushed. I think we are just going to run in one direction though. I just want to charge in one direction. And yeah, let's get straight up here. I don't know what's here. There must be somebody trying to guard this, right? Must be. Well, I guess there is some more farmland actually. There's little fields dotted around. There's not that many people living here. That's all rather sweet. Rather like it. Uh, okay. Seriously, though, how how is there no one here? There's really nobody there. I'll just take these towers, then. That's fine. Uh, and then... Where do we want to go? Okay, so it looks like there's... Yeah, all six of these towers are in range of this. Which is very clever layout, honestly. So not bad for them to just retreat all the way up here. Especially with this area blocked, these towers will be very useful. Shooting in while we try and conquer the rest. Yeah, more barricade up there too. Very cool. So that's getting taken nice and quickly. Lovely. Uh, then do I want to take this as well? No, that can only shoot forward, so there's no point. Alright, so we have that now. Cool. Um, is it wise to have Manghua run up there on his own like that? Probably not. But... I want to scout. I want to scout ahead. That's what I want to do. I don't want my elephants to get hurt. Because 
they mean more to me. Yeah, you guys all run in over there like absolute champs. Uh, or maybe not. Hard to tell, honestly. Maybe just try and go there. Can you all go the right way? Yeah, okay, good. Uh, and now the elephants, I think, I will have them um, move independently. Oh, hi. So there are, there are some units kicking about in a few different spots. So I don't want to charge them with my cavalry. Because I'll end up getting kicked off for my horses. Which would be a bit annoying. I won't be able to run around. There's mostly... Mostly spearmen kicking about, which is sort of annoying. Uh, you guys are... Um, I mean, this is my fault, but... It just... A bit of a mess, isn't it? <laughs> it's a bit of a mess. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's all good. To attention. All right, come on, come on. I insist. Oh, really? All right, come on, elephants. Help me, help me mop these guys up. Ready as slings. Let's get them in their own group because uh, probably just gonna have them hang out over here a bit. Uh, the wolf pack. I think I might have attacking that barricade. And yeah, those elephants should um Stand ready. They should be able to get some work done, right? Yep, looks like it. Looks like it. Look, the enemy run. Yeah, I wouldn't have wouldn't have thought otherwise. Uh I might try and smash that down now. Okay, you guys will go that way and we'll we'll push it through this way. Try and take these uh these towers. They can help shoot into the group. I think that could be quite beneficial. They can shoot over the walls, though, which is very clever. Yeah, you charge down that way. This is still an absolute mess, but, you know, I wouldn't expect anything less. Uh, can you not attack that? Are you, you struggling to attack the barricade? Can you not? Apparently not. Can you jump over? No, apparently not that either. I'm very confused. All right, you guys try and attack that barricade then, please. Everyone else, I guess, is going around the other way. Even though it feels like a big waste of time to me. Uh, Alright, well, that'll get through that eventually, maybe. You guys line up over here so you can shoot over. Yep, you go for them. Everybody else, keep smashing down that way. This is just ridiculous. This is an absolute mess. Luckily, the elephants don't really care for any of this bug. Uh, oh, the wolf pack have... Javelins as well. How cool is that? That's really cool. Oh, big fan of that. Yeah, can you destroy that? Like, you can attack barricades. It just seems that no one cares to do that. It's it's quite frustrating. Also, I did give you guys orders to stand here. But, okay. If that's how you want to play this, that's fine. Uh, come on. Come on, guys. Come on now. Come on, Nanjong ele elephants. Yeah, speed sounds good. Okay, good. Sort of. I mean, this is an absolute mess, but I can't tell what's happening anymore. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of morale. You do a big attack thing. You do a big attack thing. That's fine, too. Everybody just keeps swinging. Okay, everybody keeps swinging. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> this is such a mess. Uh... Okay, it looks like it looks like their heroes are getting wrecked, which is great. Uh, and Nanjong elephants are taking big damage. Let's let's try and just push out, right? Uh, yeah, this is nothing's happening over there anymore. And well, I like that the AI is behaving in different ways now. I do like that a lot. Go on, Nanjong elephants. Also, you guys just get over here. Guys, come on. You are finished. Come on, lads. Come on. Our men are running. Uh, probably. Probably. I've been asking for them to run for a long time, so... It makes sense the enemy would be able to make them do that. Okay, good. We've taken these towers. That's great. You guys, go kill those Nardman Slingers. Good. Okay. Okay, this is going fine. Sort of. In a way. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. So we got all these towers now. So that's really good. Okay, we got, we're got getting all these towers. 
Uh, we are running low on Nanjong elephants. Yeah, you know, we have so many of those. That warrior's captain's doing very well. Very surprised. Uh, you doing okay? How you doing, Nanjong elephants? 300 kills. Pretty good. Yeah, still running through them. Uh, yeah, you guys just stand there, yeah? Uh, okay, bunch of things breaking. Still running that way. And those towers are doing horrible things to our elephants. I re I'm very saddened by it. Okay, you, I guess, go for them. I it's hard to tell what's happening. Can you guys attack them? Maybe? Maybe? Okay, you head over there. Guys, all of you head over here. Come on. Stop getting stuck. Oh, it's because none of you guys have horses anymore. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. You do, though. That's fine. Uh, elephant struggling. Elephant struggling. Let's give you melee evasion morale. Might keep you in the fight a little longer. Good. Good. And yeah, it looks like we're taking the towers. Alright, it's all good. It's all good. So this was a mess, but I guess we just had more mess than the enemy, so it worked. You know. That's fine. Three Nanjong elephants. That's not many Nanjong elephants. This is very... It's very sad for elephants. Yeah, if you guys are elephants, if any of you guys watching are elephants, uh, don't join my army. Okay? Don't join my army. I will I will just use you like uh, disposable um, meat rams. Oh, there's still someone down here. Alright then. Oh, wow, there too. They just have no quit in them, do they? Southern warriors. Well, those three Nanjong elephants have a way of a time, so it's all good. Okay, that's all fine. Uh, yeah, you head down here, I guess. You guys can head down the hill. Go for these, uh, this uh, Nanman warriors captain. I'm amazed he's still in the fight. Oh, he's not in the fight. That's army losses. I was going to say, like, looking at this, you'd be surprised that army losses hadn't hit yet. But it did. So, fair enough. Claim victory. Decisive victory. It was a decisive mess. We still won. Our energies have been rewarded. Ah, oh, there were three left. Apparently the unit got destroyed in battle. Oh well. I guess those three enter holiday. It's fine. So, more ancillaries. Uh, my ancillaries means another flint club, which isn't exactly all that exciting. It's odd that we have to loot that. Yeah, you know, you just, we'd think we'd have people who could make those quite easily, but that's fine. Confederate. So, we have Duosi now. So, I guess he didn't have another faction down there. Although, he was on his way over here, huh? Welcome, my lord. Well, you guys can all go home. So, ladies are wrong. Two factions have become one. And our power increases. We're now the Queen of the Nanman. Brilliant. The peoples of the Nanman tribes fear and respect you, and rightly so. From the most humble beginnings, the road has been long, with many deadly hazards along the route. But now the lands under your com uh, control span a vast distance. Your many peoples look to you to lead them, and lead you shall. Confederated Duosi, and for that, we get the fealty of Jihuan <laughs> Mm -hmm. Born into the greatest family of his local area, <laughs> became king of the ravine at a young age, having lost his father while still only a child. Though the great adversity of his life, he has never lost sight of the need to help his people and raise them from uh, penury. So that's nice. Uh, extra 10% income from peasantry. That's nice. That's nice. And uh, the sages fealty as well. Uh... So the Sages Fealty, I think this is Duosi's faction. Um, there are those who know the hidden ways and secrets of the mountains. Those who do not know are doomed to eternal ignorance. If allowed to fester, this ignorance will spread like a weed to infest all those touched by its numbing influence. Do not in ignore those who know. Uh, so that gives us uh, hidden vipers, poison darts, and poison spears. So that's really cool, but also plus one available tribal council position, and plus 10% research rate, and plus one available army. So a whole ton of stuff there from taking uh, Duosis. So that's lovely. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. And you, my lad. Um, we don't really have a dedicated ranged specialist in this army, really. Um, so it may as well be this guy. So let's do that. And I'm actually going to get rid of those Nanman spearmen. We're going to swap them out. 
for some fire archers. I think we need a couple of fire archers in this army. Because we need to be able to destroy the towers. We really do. It'd be so easy if we just walked in there, destroyed the towers one by one, and, you know, just crushed everyone under elephants. But, sadly, we weren't able to do that. So, uh, hopefully, hopefully, we'll be able to get this ambush. That'd be really cool if we did, honestly. That'd be really cool if we were able to get the ambush. And if not, he might run off that way and we'll just take Janine back and it'll tempt him to come back and attack us. So, we'll, we'll still be able to get him somehow. Uh, though we do have a court position and we have some people to sack. So, oh, she's actually very happy. I like that. Uh, and yeah, that is the one that we need to keep around for Butugu. Uh, and this lot are actually quite happy. Oh, a Hunan isn't though. That's interesting, but he got hired by... Uh, do I see at some point? Uh, you're fine to go though, mate. Uh, I don't know what Banished really does. Oh, everyone gets unhappy with it, but you get money out of it. Yeah, I don't want everyone to be unhappy. That's why I'm getting rid of them in the first place. Um, and what are you on? 28. That's not that good. That's not that good. Uh, so, though this one... Spouse is Dwosi, who is actually fairly... Not super happy, but she's quite happy. So I'll leave her in the faction, I reckon. And uh, I'm going to put Dwosi into a uh, into some kind of role, which I can't yet. I can't yet. He's he's coming back. But yeah, I might make him the seer because he's a he's the sage, isn't he? So making him our seer sounds like a good fit. Even though it won't give me a preview of what that might be, which is a bit annoying. Um, you though, I guess we don't need to keep this guy around. So I guess you're out. So that'll do. Lovely. Lovely stuff. We also have another cave lord, potentially. Should we have her do it? Maybe. Maybe. Might as well. She seems happy. So, where makes the most money? Jiang Yang does. So, let's have that babysat. Good. Alright, things are looking good, guys. Things are looking good. Um, yeah, actually, things are looking real good. Like, look at our empire now. It's looking quite big. It's looking quite big. Can I... Uh, filter attitude. That's better. So all this grey is ours, which is pretty good. We've got three guys that are trading with us that quite like us. And then, um, yeah, a bunch of people who loathe us, which is unfortunate, but expected. Also, we've got 13 of 19 tribes, which is very cool. I'm happy with that. Uh, okay, moving on. Fingers crossed we get that ambush. Have too many doubts. Uh, what? Oh. Why are you suddenly a bit upset? Opposing values and strategic threat. Okay, Yang Feng is, is being a bit... Bit of a burke here. Uh, oh. I mean, that's a that's a pain. But he's, he's breaking our non-aggression pact with us. Which is very sad. Huh. Very interesting. So Dong Min's had a peace treaty with uh, Liu Bei. That's normal. Kong Rong... I made a peace treaty with Han Fu. So did Tao Chan. It's fine. Doesn't really bother us, does it? Uh, okay. So we're going to need to head over to um, Shamake's uh, territory soon. Although it looks like Uling is going to be the first one. It's quite annoying, actually, that it's sort of like a T that we have to follow. So if we go to that one first, it'd be nice if we can just go down the, the pipe. But if we go for this one first, which is closest... Then we have to go north or south, and we'll have to sort of gamble where the enemy army is without just losing it again. So I guess we'll have to go for uh, Chongxian up there. Which, uh, let's see. Okay, so yeah, all, all those three are all ruling. So yeah, alright, that's fine. Uh, okay, so we'll go for that next. We'll go for that next, I think. Do I want to... Yeah, I think I do want to sit here in ambush. We'll still have some replenishment, although barely any, I believe. Uh, okay, minus 20% replenishment right now. Which really sucks. Seriously, these fire things are quite irritating. The bonuses aren't particularly big. Uh, also, this guy doesn't seem to want to attack, which is a real pity. So, we won't be able to get the ambush, which I'm really gutted about. Because it's a great way to get rid of elephants. You can just break them um, if you can get an ambush. You know, the mixture of fire arrows and tigers and and just all of our heroes charging them, we could get rid of those elephants really quickly and then just, you know, just just tread everything else out, else into the dirt with our own. Um, so, you know, that would have been nice. But sadly, it's just not the way it was meant to be. 
So guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.